Brexit tensions between the UK and France intensified after a former French ambassador to the UK took aim at Britain with remarks that verged on anglophobia. France and the UK are once again at odds over fishing rights, and reports suggest both countries are being hurt by the tension. The threat of retaliatory action from the French has already cost one oyster producer in Kent tens of thousands of pounds worth of business. Meanwhile, Sky News reports that the Department for Transport has asked a Kent lorry park that is due to close shortly, to stay open for a few months longer over Christmas to help with anticipated extra pressure on an already strained supply chain. The row over fishing rights has divided the UK and France, as epitomized by a book written by Sylvie Berman, the former ambassador to the UK for France. The book, titled Good Be Britannia, was published at the start of this year. Robert Toombs wrote for The Times in his review of the book that some of Ms. Berman's book verges on good old French anglophobia. He added, her historical summary is like wading through 150 pages of the New European. In brief, Brexit is merely a con trick, due to the tabloid press, lying politicians and stupid voters. We have the usual, disproved, stories of anti-Polish violence and Cambridge Analytica manipulating voters. They may not be accurate, but they fit the picture, because for Berman the root causes of Brexit are that the British persistently hate the Germans, despise the French, hate migrants, think they won World War II single-handed, she thinks Rule Britannia was written in 1940, and indulge in a neo-imperialist fantasy that the whole Anglosphere revolves round them. Mr. Toombs added, however, that one of Ms. Berman's friends assured him that the ambassador is a sincere Anglophile. In an interview with The Guardian in February, Ms. Berman summarized her position. She said, when you've admired a country for a long time, appreciated its humor, tolerance, courtesy, openness, of course it's sad. It also means, now, there's no more jelly or stilton in Marks and Spencers in Marche Saint-Germain. And that's Brexit, too. No one thought it would happen, not even the Brexiters. David Cameron told me several times there was no way he could lose, he just wanted to solve his problem with his Eurosceptics. In her book, Ms. Berman also branded Prime Minister Boris Johnson a liar. She adds that he uses, lies to embellish reality, as a game and as instrument of power. The ends justify the means. He has no rules. Ms. Berman continued, he would not object to being called that. He knows he is a liar. He has always played with that. He was fired from his first post for that reason. French President Emmanuel Macron has emerged as one of the biggest critics of the UK during the Brexit process. When the trade deal with the EU was agreed, he said Brexit was based on lies and false promises. He is now piling the pressure on the UK, as the French leader threatened to to block Christmas shipments as a political lever in Brexit fish talks. Last night government insiders warned Paris they won't stand by and let it use the threat of trade disruption as a weapon in every cross-channel spat.
a source told The Sun, the ideal would always be that the short straits route between Dover and Calais runs smoothly, clear of political interference. But the government has a responsibility to ensure supply chain resilience, not only for Christmas but in the long term. France is one of our oldest and closest allies but we cannot have Dover Calais forever used as a political lever, which can be pulled during some periodic spat. If that is the case then we must look for more robust alternatives in direct routes to Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany and Scandinavia. <laughs>